Hi guys. I'm here with mail I got today. Again, Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month for June. And I rather thought they would have waited and sent me July's, but they didn't. They sent me June. That's okay. And it came UPS Sure Post, which basically means UPS transfers it to the post office and it takes an extra day <laughs> to get here. But anyway, I got it. And I don't remember how much this was um, because I only have my tracking sheet here and not my invoice. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure, but it's on their website and I'll look it up and put it in the description box below. So what I signed up for, you could do, there's several different options. You can do just the small die of the month, which is this. I signed up for small die plus monthly card making kit. Or you could just get the card making kit. Or you could get the large die of the month. Or you could get the small and large die of the month. Or you could get the small and large die of the month and the card making kit. So I just went for the small die of the month plus the card making kit. I believe that's what I signed up for. So I'll put the price for this one below, but you'll have to go to the website to check out the other ones. So this one is this cute cupcake. It's six pieces, six die pieces. And I think you could actually, if you had a cone, you could use this as a big ice cream too, because it's pretty big. Um, and they give you, I mean, you can see from the picture how big the icing is on that cupcake. Better love your icing. <laughs> I actually like the cake better than the icing. Maybe because I'm, um, it depends on the icing. If it's like buttercream or something. Mm. But, um, no, oh, it's double wrapped in here. And they do give you an idea and they tell you what you need to make what they're showing. But those particular items are not really included in the kit because that's, this was a separate kit. So anyway, I'm going to put that back in there. You can pretty much see better here what, what's in it. I'm sorry I'm crinkling this all up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and then this is the kit of the month for June. It's, um... Well, I said it's card making, but I guess it could be more than that. And they give you instructions on how to create your own good times card. So let's see, in here we get 10 cards and 10 envelopes and they're a textured paper and they appear to be, uh, I think a two size. So that's good. That's good. 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 Um, 11 sheets. Of, well, let's look through this stuff first. You get a whole roll of um, double-sided, looks like quarter-inch tape. Yeah, I like quarter-inch tape. Yay. Die-cut shapes, which looks like it has another flower. I don't know where the opening is. Oh my goodness. Really? They can't do that to these old people like me. <laughs> okay. Oh, it goes this way. I see it now. Oh, yay. All right. Um, let me put them over here. And it doesn't say how many pieces they're supposed to be, but you get this banner. Get these little leaves. Cute heart. I like the heart. I like it all. And there's a like a pennant triangle. Not sure what to use that for other than a pennant. We get some uh, leaf splays and a flower and a flower center thing and a little X. I don't know what that is. Maybe could be a dragonfly, I guess, with, without a tail. There. I don't know. What is that? Do you think? I am not sure. <laughs> Maybe that's the um, 
the flower, uh, what do you call those things? The, the stamen of the flower? I don't know. I'll have to punch them out and see, or cut them out and see. So I got those. Quite a few pieces there. And the leaves, too. Oops. Get back in there. Okay, and then we got a red bow and three white paper flowers and so a couple, handful of, looks like about four red sequins, four or five or so red sequins. And the bow is like a burlapy material. That's okay. We got some foam squares, pop ups, you know. We got some uh, clothes pins, and they're at least partly decorated already with um, looks like paint on that one. Sort of orange fading into pink on both sides, like sherbet and floral and blue and white polka dots. That would be nice for tomorrow, Fourth of July. I'll put that in my planner, I think. Let me put them back in here for now. Actually, I think I'm going to leave that one out, put that in my planner. And then some buttons. They already have foam dots on. Uh, this one has a butterfly and it's dark blue. They look like wood, but they're probably plastic because they're glossy. I don't know. Um, and then a heart and then a little blue flower. This is really nice. The ribbons. You get uh, five ribbons. They don't tell you how much you get, but it looks to be like maybe um, at least a foot to a, a foot to a yard, depending on the one. The skinnier ones look like there's more of them. This thicker one looks like there might be less, but it's still looking to me like it may be two feet. I'm not sure. I'm not going to take them out now. And this one's got a fuzzy texture to it. It's really cool. Red satin. The blue one um, is like a, a matte satin. The white has some texture to it too. And this looks like a white. Uh, this is more creamy and this is white satin. And then there's these acetate. Um, what do they call them? embellishments I guess. So we get hugs. Mm, this is not gonna... Mm. Let's see. Oh, I have a piece of paper right here. There we go. Hugs, butterfly, a flower, wildflowers like, a, a doily, which you're not gonna be able to see on the white. A bigger doily, um, some flowers, bigger flowers, and a hello. And I don't know, these might be stickers. I'm not sure. But I like them a lot. I like it. Okay, let me move this out of here. I'm going to sit them over here for now. And then there's some. Um, not chipboard, cardstock uh, embellishments. I don't think these are the embellishments. I think these are, it just says decorative wood stickers, which are the buttons, I think. Flowers, I got them, sequins, yes. Foil sentiments must be, they're coming up, I guess. Um, and embellishments, oh, die cut shapes. That's what this is. Die cut shapes. Okay. And these are really nice. Let me put this back here again. Sorry, I'll try and speed it up. This is a foiled feather. Another foiled feather. I'm liking the feathers. I like the picture with the flower in. This says wild and free. Oh, blue and white heart. Let the... Oops. This says good times. Let love light the way beauty surrounds us life is lovely let your heart be free 
celebrate and some more flowers with some foiling on those are really nice I really like them all of them like all of them they're the kind of thing I would use in my projects for sure and the acetate ones too oh my goodness let me ask a question while I'm fumbling here um, if you guys have kits that you get, do you keep everything together in the kit till it's gone? Or after you make the first something you make with the kit, do you then incorporate it into your other, like wherever you keep all your ephemera, you put whatever's left in there? Let me know. Um, and these are like dimensional stickers, like we talk about from Dollar Tree. They have like foil around the outer part of this one and it says hello sunshine this one has flowers with foiled lines and the flower some flowers are popped up this looks like a um, badge and it says hey and then here we have flowers and the, some of the petals and the leaves are foiled so they're nice too they're I think what they're calling foil sentiments and embellishments well, maybe embellishments and these are probably the sentiments it says lovely and shine and it's got like a uh, tree trunk wood with a heart in it and then we have some other um, sentiments and these are they're like they've been embossed but they're um, like sparkle paper sticky star sparkle paper we got a star heart other little stars happy laughs best friend you amazing fun beautiful another open star and two more um, closed ones and then we have the paper so let's see we have this black floral and this is a nice weight and it's single-sided I love the red and pink in it this is a tonal make a nice base this is pretty love my blue love my blue that's pretty Ooh, like this one too this is paper that looks like denim but with lace on it very pretty love that Ooh, pink and white gingham like like picnicky love that too and then a sheet of gold foil which got a little crumpled it's funny how that's the only one that got crumpled almost looks like a fingerprint there hmm anyway it's not too bad and it's foiled on both sides the back has a bit of a boo-boo but if i do die cuts and stuff nobody else see that and then these look like they're all textured solid cardstock nice heavy weight and it has like a linen I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that linen texture to it there's a pink and a red which is a nice Christmas color and a green which is a nice Christmas color and a pure white also nice for the holidays or anytime and a blue bright blue so that's it Oh, we have red, white, and blue there. Well, it's a little late for 4th of July since that's tomorrow. That didn't even occur to me because there's red, white, and blue ribbon in here as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess if I had gotten it in June, I probably could have made something for 4th of July. But I think I'll be using the red and green and maybe white for Christmas. Um, all right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my Spellbinders monthly kit. Um... Stay tuned for the next video because I have an announcement and that's coming up today and then that'll be my last video today after after this one um, but that's a kind of a big announcement and um, yeah so I'll just leave it at that thanks for watching have a great afternoon have a wonderful Independence Day if you are here in the States or just have a wonderful day today and evening and it just started pouring down rain here <laughs> all right talk to you soon hugs love and peace